thank you, thank you for supporting me and my channel. I truly appreciate you watching this video. Now, if you can't already tell, I'm sick. I got the flu and it's kicking my butt. And I finally stopped fevering, so I wanted to film this before I just didn't. Because it's already the 22nd and I got paid on Friday. It is now Tuesday and I'm hoping I feel good enough tomorrow to go back into work. I've been staying home because I've been fevering anyways. That's your spiel. So I won't be doing my actual budget overview. Just doing the cash stuffing just to get it done. Just to be done with this one. Um, so yeah. We'll just start out by... Let's see. Unstuffing. Groceries and dining out. Go groceries has five. Dining out has five five so they're getting five again so I'll just stick them back in and then the ten extra is gonna go in the payback oh my goodness and I don't think I'll be spending anything because I'm not feeling very well so kind of good time is not good anyway so that's stuffed next I'll go into my bills and savings binder and my mortgage was already paid for the month of March and so now I'm just gonna be putting in the 485 per the paycheck and I did get a really good suggestion that all of the placeholders and money in these are going to be what I actually am stuffing. And because before it was just extra that I had, I just didn't count my placeholders. But now I'm going to be counting them. And the whole thing here is my whole paycheck. Anyways, there's four, fifty, seventy, eighty, and five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 85. Going into mortgage. I should just make a 485 placeholder because that's what it is every time. One day. Um, credit card payments will be getting $225. Um, I'm paying off my synchrony card that we used to buy our couch with. So that is officially paid off. And so there's one, two, twenty-five, and then the other fifty is going to my personal credit card, <clears throat> and that should be paid off by September. But it doesn't get interest till November. That was one of the sign-up deals, so very lucky for that. And so yeah, that's very exciting. Um, gas. I'm only gonna be putting fifty dollars in there. We're carpooling, my husband and I. Plus, I haven't left my house all weekend. I just don't feel good. <laughs> Payback is getting $43. 20, 40, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So payback now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 dollars. Slowly but surely guys, slowly but surely. Pest control is getting 20 dollars this time. So it now has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37 dollars in there. And I am going to wait till September to deposit this in the bank. Um, our pest control comes out of my personal credit card. So I'll just wait till September, deposit the whole thing. And then from there on, I will keep up with the payments um, because I'll have interest starting in November. So I'll just want to keep paying off as soon as I get a balance on there. Um, nothing going to the bank. 
my savings account is getting $30, $20 for my regular plus the change, but I don't count the change, and then $10 for my high yield savings that is transferred every other month. Yes. So my savings, both savings accounts now have one, two, three, three twenty, three thirty dollars. And that's just gonna be for my emergency fund. Um, I'm hoping to get my regular savings up to six thousand dollars. That will be enough for three months of expenses um, in case anything happens. So that's my goal for my savings account. Oops. Quant down. So that one's stuffed. Next, I'll go into my 2022 savings challenge. That's getting, let's see, make sure I did it right. $30, yep. Yeah, $30. So it gets a 20 and a 10. How exciting. And I just made this one up myself. I just put totals in there. Um, that will equal up to a thousand dollars. So this will be a thousand dollars at the end of 2022 and I'm pretty excited where I'm going to put this, but I'm not going to share until 2023. It'll be exciting. Um, my $1 savings doesn't get anything else. I didn't have any money for those. Oh, I have to go back to payback. I just remembered now extra $10 in payback because I didn't spend those two fives in my wallet. Let's recount that one, because that'll be fun now. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Almost $100 in there. And that's spectacular. Oh my goodness. Money cooperate with me, please. It's not my day. Okay, now that one's stuffed. Um, next, we'll go into my 100 envelopes. And this is um, <clears throat> money on that is extra from my raise. So not really extra money, but all this money will be going into um, payback in a way. But I just want to see how much it is and how much it adds up to over the year-ish. So that's what I kind of want to do. Okay, and it was $79. And I think I'm doing five envelopes. I'm not sure. I better come back to this one in a second because whatever's left over will go into that, that um, savings challenge. So let's stop this and then whatever's left in here is going into the savings challenge because I can't remember how many folders I said I was going to do. Anyways, gifts is nothing because it's got the gift cards. Christmas is getting $5. Just a $5 bill, so now it has $20, $25, $30 in there. And um, I'm just gonna put $5 in there, paycheck, and then whatever I can spend, I can spend, but I'm not gonna stress over it. Um, Pets is getting five. It's almost time for his biannual order on Chewy. So that gets five dollar bills. And I absolutely love Chewy. They sent my dog a birthday card, a handwritten birthday card. His birthday's on the 30th of March. And I ordered like a little birthday box for him and he got like this pinata toy he loves. But they sent him a freaking birthday card. How awesome is that? I love it. Because he's my baby and he deserves a birthday card. Anyways, um, I got in pets now. We have 20, 30, 35, 40. So I think next month is when we when I order because I think I'm saving $50 to 60. I can't remember. But I'll have to check on that. Make sure it doesn't auto renew without me knowing when it's going through. Bunko is getting $5. And I have Bunko this Friday. Hopefully I feel good in time. I might just have to mask up. Um, but because we did it later in the month rather than earlier like we have been, I have enough for two bunkos. Um, but that's kind of good because then 
I will be prepared for Bunko. So Bunko now has $20, but I'll be taking 10 out for a Friday and then I'll still have 10. So that's great. And we don't put Bunko in the summer, so during the summer I won't stuff that. But for now we stuff in it. Date night is getting $4. One, two, three, four. This paycheck was bigger than my last one. My last one was literally the smallest one of the year, but it was for everyone because it was based on the last um, two weeks of February, basically, and February is just a short month, so it was just a shorter pay period overall. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. Um, there's birds because it's spring finally, and he is protecting the house. He is just all over it. And my voice ain't even good enough to scream at him right now, so not even worth it. Um, date night now has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dollars. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I want to take Corey out on a date. And he watches my videos sometimes, so I don't want to spoil it. But if you make it this far... Write a comment down below what your favorite date is, whether it's going for a walk, going to the park, going ice skating. What is your favorite date? Give me some ideas. Expensive or cheap. We can save up. Medical's getting $20, guys. I'm so excited. Um, I did go to Instacare because my flu, I, my cough is burning, and I've never had a burning cough, so... I'll have a bill, so that'll come out of that, but it'll be fine. It is what it is. $20, $40, $60, dollars in medical. Oh yeah, that's more than enough to cover that urgent care visit. But if you ever feel like something's wrong, go in. Even if it's nothing, I was just so worried because I've never been this sick over a cold. Even with like covid no, I have never been this sick. Car maintenance is getting $5. My oil change is due real soon. My car just said, girl, you got 10% left of your oil life. And I was like, no, I have to do that real soon then. But we got a full amount for an oil change. That'll be great. We got 20 30 35 40 $45 in there. And I do my own oil changes, so depending on if there's a sale on my oil filter or not, um, the most I pay usually to go get the oil on the oil filter is um, like $40. So hopefully we can find it on sale though. That'd be nice. Um, new whip. I almost crapped my pants when I budgeted this out, but $20 in a new whip. New whip knows $20, $40, $45, $50. How exciting, guys. That's so exciting to me. That's for my new car. One day. Not anytime soon. Self-love. <clears throat> I'm deteriorating fast. I better get through this fast. Self-love, $15. That's a 5 and a 10. No, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, $30. It's okay. It's okay, Daddy. Well, he says it's not okay. There's birds out there. Um, Self-love, I'll probably be using for my tattoo that I'm going to be getting in April. I'm going to be getting um, a tattoo for my mom. She passed away from colon cancer. And so, I just want to get some. Just to help remember day to day bring awareness, you know. Travel be getting five dollars. My brother's birthday's in August. He's turning 21. So we're going to be going to the casino. So whatever money I have in here is what I'm going to be gambling. And hopefully I come back with more. I need to fill up that new whip, you know. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars. We're getting there. Already $17? Dang. Even for my birthday trip to go to casino, I didn't have that much before. Like this much before. Anyways, budgeting, $2. And y'all, I already got freaking, are you ready for this? 
44 subscribers one I'm filming this I wanted to do a 50 subscriber um, giveaway and I still might do that but it depends on how fast I get my crap together I might have to turn it into a hundred subscriber giveaway because I am just busy I'm in school full-time I work full-time and this is just like a little hobby I guess kind of so this doesn't make me any money right now and I'm just doing the best I can but I think I need to fill this up a little more to get that shipping covered so it might be I have to be a hundred subscriber giveaway because I'm not gonna put my lifestyle and my bank account on hold just so I can do a giveaway I want to be able to do it responsibly so yeah that's what I'm saying so, I don't know, we grew pretty fast though. So we went from like 25 subscribers to 44 in like two days. Like, that's amazing. I really appreciate all of your support. It is just phenomenal. And I love this community. It is so uplifting. And that's what I need to keep going and stay motivated. Anyways, budgeting now is five, six, seven dollars. We're getting there. Maybe one more, one or two more paychecks and we'll see where we're sitting. We'll see if that giveaway is coming up. My last folder is clothing and it's getting $6. Thank goodness. I think I might need to buy new pants here soon. Crotch is going to rip out them all fine because my thunder thighs. Anyways, now five, six, seven, eight dollars $8. Not enough money for any clothes unless you're going on Sheen, but that doesn't even cover shipping. So we best keep saving. Best keep saving. I'll be okay on clothes. I don't go too crazy. Okay, everything's stuffed except for my hundred envelopes. All of this should be 79. Let me just count real quick. 50, 70. Okay, you girl, you messed up. I said I had $79 in this challenge. Where'd this 10 go in? Girl, what'd you do? Did I pull out too much money? Okay, something is... Funky. 50, 70, 5, 76, 86. Oh, I am stuffing 86. I wrote 79, but I forgot. This was my bigger paycheck. I wrote down the number from my estimate, and my paycheck was a little bigger than that. <laughs> Guys, I was so concerned. Let's get these suckers out of the way. I got these baskets. These, This was like a dollar each basket at the dollar store in the kitchen. It was by the kitchen area that I found them. I don't know if that's where they go. But if you're wondering, go to the Dollar Tree. Don't spend lots of money if you don't have to. Okay, $86. Let's see. That'll get a folder. That'll get a folder. Okay, yeah, we'll just get a new folder for all of these. Because we can. Guys, this is crazy. $86. Just going into savings. Kind of. This will be going to pay back at the end of the year. Which is so exciting. And I'm so proud of myself for not being like, oh, I got a raise. Let's put, let's just put that money everywhere else. No, girl. We are saving this and we're going to use it to pay off debt. We're going to be debt free by January. I'm so excited. That's such a good, big thing for me. Like, I don't know. I'm just excited. It'll be so nice to say, you know what? I did it. I figured my financials out. I did it. Okay, come on now. I just have to suck her open. Oh my gosh. I am sweating. I know I'm just like doing the easiest thing right now, but I am sweating. This fever is kicking my butt. I thought I kicked it. It's coming back. I need to take another ibuprofen or something. This flu has been kicking my trash. I haven't been this sick in a long time. I'm just exhausted. And I can't even sleep very good. I wake up like every two hours. My lungs just feel like they're filled with fluid and mucus. And that's another reason why I went to their urgent care. And they said, oh, you just got the flu. And I'm like, this ain't just the flu. This is something. This is bad. Okay, look at all these. Look at all these folders. 
Some of them only have like literally one dollar in them, but I am so excited. We'll get there. Alrighty. So that's the end of my video. I'm so sorry if it was fever dreams, but here we are. There's my budget overview. I just quickly filled everything in. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend, rest of your March, and I will see you guys at the beginning of April with my monthly budget overview and our financial goals for April. So, I'll see you in the next video. Peace!